So Mark Gross is the first drummer on the album, and I actually got to know Mark way back in 2012 through Andrew Vandervoort when he recorded my band's first album, so the band name Elias. It was during this time that we got to know each other pretty well because we had long, long days together as we recorded guitars and other instruments. July 2019 was a big month for the album because we recorded all of the drums except for two tracks at Mark's studio with him as a recording engineer. So after seven years, we finally were able to work together again. I grew up in White Oaks area in London, average neighborhood. And I won't tell you the street address, obviously, but where we're actually going right now, just so you can quickly see it, is the school I went to uh, during public school. It's White Oaks Public School. And I went here from grade 7 to grade 8. I got moved around a bit when I was younger with school districts. I wasn't here the whole time, but you can kind of see it. It was, it was a good school, but, you know, met some good friends that I still talk to. And actually during this time, I wasn't really into any of that rock music stuff. I grew up because of actually mostly, you know, my, my sister and stuff, she listened to hip hop. So that was naturally the music that, that I uh, listened to as well. Probably the first time I'll say that the music really hit me for rock was, I think, grade seven or eight in our music class. We had a bit of that show and tell which, where each of us would bring kind of a song that we enjoyed and, and present it to the class. I brought I think it was called Hip Hop Array by Naughty by Nature. That was the song that I brought to the class and presented, so that's what I was into. Um, and then I think there was a kid in, in my class called Jamie, and I think he was the only kid that brought a rock song into the whole class. The song that he played was called What If by Creed. And for anyone that knows the song, it's a kind of a slow intro, you don't really think much of it, but then, you know, all the instruments kind of kick in together and it really, when I heard that song, it really, uh, I don't know, woke up something in me and from there I started exploring more music about that that was rock music and I think that's really where it started. 